你有男朋友了吗？要你管呢。好想拥抱你，拥抱错过。你让我继续喜欢你。Welcome to another episode of Eat Book Vlogs. My name is John, and I'm Adria. And today we're going to explore Taiwanese eateries in Singapore. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hello. So first up, we're at Eat Three Bowl. Mm. The Chinese name, right? Actually, got Thai in Taiwan. It's Jia San Wan. My favorite thing about this place is that it is decorated like a classroom, so it's oh really God, giving like me the yes. The menu is like those notebook kind of thing. Okay, so the first one we're gonna try ah uh, is gonna be our Hong Sao Nuro Mian. Wow, that's nice. <laughs> it's, it's not as like strong flavored as I imagine. Yeah. It's nice and like very yeah. mouthy. Every mouthful like contains a little bit of the herby flavor, which is great lah. I like these noodles a lot. Reminds me oh, of nice. ramen, but in a yeah. Taiwanese way. Can I just say that this Taiwanese braised beef, right? It's the only type of beef that I will eat is like fatty fatty and tender like that one because I usually don't like the texture. But this one is so well done, right? It really reminds me of the time when I was on the hundred dollar no in Taiwan. <laughs> and then legit in Taichung, right, the food that they cook, right, is like, like this kind of standard. Wow. Right? It's somewhat like melts in your mouth a little bit. Well honestly, right, I a bit cannot get enough of the noodles. I'm a bigger fan of the noodles than the beef. Pi tan tofu. It's a very nice mouthful. Right? The pork flesh was sweet. The chuck was sweet. It's damn good. Okay. okay, can we move on, please? Like yeah. my two favorite dishes right in the Taiwanese world is this and this. Yeah. What we have is our ke zai da chang mi sua. Can I just say that I love food with like thick sauces, right? And this sauce is like viscous AF. I miss this mi sua thing so much. Oh my god. Suddenly I eat ah the Taipei yao ling yao from my eyes for a moment. Mi sua is very very absorbent, right? Something like this gives you a bit of porridge vibes. Actually, I like the little things inside. The intestine, right? Give it a bit of a... a burst of flavor. And then the oyster is a totally different taste altogether. So on to my favorite dish. I know the thing about it is this is like quite a common staple dish. Huh? Oh and then idiot tourists like us get all excited about it, right? But uh, if Lulu Fan is done well, yeah. what wow, damn dope. Eh. No, it's so simple, you know. Then the good thing about it is that this set comes with like vegetables and egg. Harajuku-ish I mean, eggs. Yeah, mean Hanjuku. Oh my god, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Different from the Japanese hanju food, eh? <laughs> you expect it to be salty and stuff, right? But on the exterior, right? That's like the car. Oh, the, and that's like tired. The pork sauter. It's a Chinese twist on the ramen egg. She don't like vegetable. True, because I don't really eat vegetables. Mm. But to my delight, I guess, it was mm. very nice. We'll Last go, but go not on. least. The best part, noodle fun. The roll already looks like, you know, it's the half fatty but. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Firstly, right, this is one of those dishes that you can eat very conveniently. You just need one spoon. And the braise of it with the rice, right, always reminds me a little bit of a bat. <laughs> and I like bat. But the bat problem is that the goodness rice is always very sticky and hard. Uh, but I think this one found a good balance in that. Good levels of stickiness uh, while maintaining the individual greens. I don't know whether is it me, but do you taste chestnut? Yes. The more you eat, uh, the more you want to eat. Whatever they use for the braising. Yeah. Uh. It's solid eh. How can something so simple make someone so happy? Yes, yeah. I don't just want to jia san one. I want to jia si wu liu qi wan. But you cannot finish, huh? I feel like I will purposely come back here just to eat the three things that we tried just now. It's modeled the... after a classroom. I love it. It reminds me of all the seven times I'm watching the Some more, right? Behind, uh, got small bag eh. I would say that prime real estate, right? You go and sit somewhere near the window and then you can stare lovingly into your lover's eyes uh, and then let your food get cold and then pretend you're in Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> so now we are here at Paradise Gastronomy. Yes, and I would like to say that these three dishes in front of us look delicious. Okay, let's try the oyster mee sua first. This is the first time that I've had oyster mee sua that has bonito flakes in it. And then they have fried onions. Wow, this oyster dough. This one already feels like it has been a little bit vinegared. There's a little bit of a sour aftertaste to it. And like all the little ingredients right, really come together to make the broth taste some, taste like something special. This is a very crunchy mee sua. The noodles and all that is starchy. But then mm. I got all those like black fungus and then the fried onions. There's a bit of like crunch as you bite. I would say that the bonito flakes is a fantastic touch. Boop. Can I just say that the mm. oyster is the legit like <laughs> explode in mouth hein? Now it's time for chicken! Okay, we shall go to the salted egg first because after all, who doesn't love a good salted egg, right? Okay, I don't really like salted egg, right? 
You do you, audience. You do you. Okay, so first things first, right? Visually, yeah, this is glazed, okay, with salted wow. egg, some kind of salted egg sauce. I'm gonna be like KFC. Whatever I said about not being a fan of <laughs> salted egg, this has changed my impression. Eh. Salted egg on chicken, <laughs> yes. The salted egg flavor, right? It's so thick eh, and full. Actually, in Taiwan, you got eat this kind of one. No, one I've by never one tried one this one. before. It's usually mm? cheaper, right? Actually, I like this time more. Mm. It's easier to eat. And the salted egg sauce, right? It's still quite smooth, like the sauce. So I think, like, it does not fight in terms of texture uh, with the chicken. Since our love for fried chicken no, knows no, no bounds. bounds. Okay, we're gonna move on to our next fried chicken. You do smell the sweetness from the sauce, so it wets your appetite a little bit and uh, gets you excited for the bite. This is like you go wedding dinner, then the first dish they send the mango the lemon. prawn. <laughs> Something like that. What about this mango sauce is, right? It's not too bad, eh? It's worth trying. The mango, right? Does not really compete with the chicken. Just give a little bit of a tang. The fried chicken itself is already nice. When you eat it, right, the crispy part really just like crumble in your mouth. I think this is a great place. I mean, it's situated in the heartlands of Ishun, so mm. right next to North Point. Right. I was looking at the menu, my favourite word here is set. It comes a with drink. the mi okay, the misa. drink, and then the fried chicken. Below $10. They do have Luro fun as well. Yes. Which oh is like God. the all time favourite, one, right? So, one more thing about Paradise Gastronomy. Yeah. The owner of this place has relatives in Taipei. And so, the recipes are all original from Taiwan. Yeah, boy! Boom! Alright guys, so now we're at our third restaurant which is Pa Tu Kong Jian. 8 degrees Taiwanese Bistro. I would say they have a much more extensive mm. menu. We shall go for our oyster omelette. On top it has this sauce. A bit like oyster sauce. It's like a very unique Taiwanese blend mm. of barbecue sauce. I like the egg and the oyster, but everything else is vegetable. Because of the cabbage and uh, the tauge. The tauge and stuff like that, right? All these crunchy vegetables together with the sauce, right? It becomes something that's a little bit sweeter and it is very, very, very reminiscent of okonomiyaki. And it's a good way to get your kids to eat vegetables before they reach this age. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the egg has like a batter, right? It's crispy and quite fluffy as well. Next dish, I believe, is our chicken double doing. Sakura shrimp fried rice with pork lots. This is sakura shrimp. Then this is mother prawn. The prawn is so fresh oh, and so I, crunchy. Can I just say that the sakura shrimp oh, is damn nice eh? It's what heavy you aspire to. Mm. I think the sakura shrimp has a very siang prawny taste right? That permeates the whole dish eh. I like that the pork floss right? Has this little bit of honey sweetness. Damn nice that this whole savoury meal. <laughs> it's almost like egg fried rice kind. Yeah. With prawn. And they're quite generous with their prawn eh, a lot eh. This is a pleasant surprise. Next time I come by here, I'll probably <laughs> get these. Okay, so next right, we have the Highlight, I guess. Okay, Actually, I do right. appreciate that there's a chicken version of the mm. braised pork rice. Mm. Wow, it's really quite siang. <laughs> okay, I'm a bit speechless right now. The scalar oil really make it very, very, very fragrant. You know like, someone cook those braised chicken, right? But then you lazy use hand, right? They already peel for you and then you yeah. put on the rice. So with the braising and everything, right? Every mouthful it still feels like it's moist and, and delicious. The meat and the rice and the scallion oil when it comes together, right? It's really just like, oh, shoot, 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 umami. It says that it's a healthier alternative uh, to the normal Luro fight, right? This is how a healthy alternative should be done. Eh? Super, 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 super tasty chicken mm. rice. Next, right, is LRF. With each store we go to, right, the Luro seems to get bigger and bigger. <laughs> Can I just say that the flavor of the Luro uh, and the sauce that comes with it uh, is damn rich. Like I would say, out of the three stores that we've tried the Luro, right, this one, the sauce is the one. Uh, that gives me the strongest impression. The meat is less fatty. It's very, very lean, Correct. I would say. But the footprint that the sauce leaves in the rice is oof. All Luro fun. It's bomb Luro fun. John, oh. how do you like this place today? Wow, honestly, right, not bad. Sorry, I'm a bit distracted because the decorating with the bobo quite cute. <laughs> I'm so glad that it's located near my house. This shop really did impress me quite a bit. The biggest thing about the menu here is that it has the largest variety out of the three that we have shared. Mm. So I highly recommend you all to come here and try the Taiwanese menu. Get a dessert to end everything off or a drink and I think you'll, you'll have a great time here. Some of the ambience here quite chill, man. Adria Tam, what's your favourite food for today? Okay, my very, very, very ah. favourite is the scallion oil chicken rice from 8 Degrees mm. Taiwanese Bistro. How about you? I know. The 8 Degrees Luro Fun. <gasps> oh my god, so Better. much chemistry. It's not because I told her before. 
It's really something special for me because it was the flavor that left the biggest impact for me. If you ask me to choose just like the Luro Fun, my one would be from like eat three Yeah, San one. I like it when my Luro Fun right has like a bit more like fatty bits. Okay, so like honestly speaking, right, I feel that each restaurant has like their own Competitive unique it. parts la. When we went to Jia San one, right, my favorite part about it, uh, despite the food being damn good, uh, is that it's really like a classroom. It's like I step into a movie yeah. set. The second shop, right, is in the Heartlands. I think price point would be their competitive it. For the last shop that we visited, right, I appreciated that they have a very extensive menu. Thank you for watching this episode of Ebook Vlogs. If you like this video, don't forget to watch all our other videos over there. And remember to like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.